JBN will keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones and in the news. Mother pleads for a safe return of missing teacher. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. I've never been through this before. Why this Lord? Why Jesus? You could stop them, Jesus. I swear we do for 15 years, Jesus. Why are you them to take my daughter? Jesus, oh God. Jesus, 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 Lord, send help, Jesus, send help, oh God, Jesus, have mercy, Lord, oh God, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the last five days have been very distressing for Denise Anglin, who is desperately hanging on to hope that her daughter, 29-year-old Daniel Anglin, will return home alive. Daniel, a grade 4 teacher at the St. Peter Claver Primary School in Kingston, has been missing since Monday when she left their home on Sun Drive in Hellshire, St. Catherine, for work. Denise said she became concerned when her daughter who usually alerts her when she's about to leave the school, did not call. As it got later, she began fearing the worst. I couldn't sleep. I sat up until 4 o'clock in the morning, she said. The following morning, she was informed that Daniel, who she described as a dedicated teacher, did not turn up for work. Her husband and Daniel's father, Michael Anglin, filed a missing person report. On the morning Daniel went missing, her mother said she was running late for work. She said her daughter usually takes the bus of Nago Head to work and a taxi up to their house that they have been living in for the last three months. But that morning, Denise said she heard she was picked up by a taxi that she had used at least two times before. I want my daughter alive, anything it costs. Me want to see her alive, the anxious mother said, before breaking down in tears. The mother, of course, said Daniel is her only daughter and they have a close-knit relationship. Just last week, Monday, Daniel celebrated her birthday and two days later, she was showed the gifts from her students as they celebrated her on Teacher's Day. She said her daughter was not involved in a romantic relationship. I don't know nothing that went wrong. I don't know what is the reason. Because Daniel and I have a very good relationship. So is her father. Everywhere is me and Daniel. Everywhere, she said. From Monday till now, me can't see my daughter. My daughter is always with me. She's a good behaving girl. My daughter doesn't have a boyfriend at that age. That's why I feel it more safe than rape her, she said. A retired teacher. Denise said Daniel was keen to follow in her footsteps to help mold the minds of the nation's children. She used to go when I'm teaching and come visit the school. I'm an example. That was her writing when she said, I'd like to be a teacher. She watched her mother, and her mother's a dynamic teacher, she said. A despairing Denise said the anguish of not knowing whether her daughter is alive is crippling. It terrible, terrible. Me cry, me cry, me cry. Last night was the most time that I cried. And my husband held me and said, Don't bother break down because you're trying to keep up. Reports from the Hellshire Police said that Anglin was last seen at home at about 5.50 a.m. Monday. All efforts to contact her since have been futile. The police are encouraging anyone who may know where she is to contact them. Meanwhile, President of the Jamaica Teachers Association, Leighton Johnson, said the organization is distraught at Daniel's disappearance and is pleading with the public to provide any information that could assist with her safe return home to the police. He said the school community is traumatized and is doing their part to assist. These are very anxious moments of the school, both staff, colleagues, and students alike. The school community has been dismissed early with a view of providing some support to the family members, whatever information they can ascertain to give to the police, he said. At this juncture, we'll have to keep hope alive. We really hope and trust that she's safe, she's okay, wherever she is, Johnson added. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.